Okay, so let us understand how to use Backlink Factory for various uh, purpose other than local listings. So first of all, we can have a uh, we can fill in the keywords there, secondary keywords there, URL there. So this is the place where you need to place up all your blog, your tier one links, existing backlink you created. They all should be in URLs box, which is the bigger box in the middle area as you can see on the screen right now. You can mention any type of backlink, YouTube videos, uh, your bloggers, your Google sites, your business profile link, or, or your, even your local citations, etc. Then you can use these file description, etc., for relevant uh, paragraph along with your business information. So basically, many users are confused, and this video was created to to make you aware that this URL section can be used for all that. So this why uh, this is uh, for them who who want to boost their T1 properties and existing uh, URLs instead of uh, looking for a local ranking. So that's all for now. The audio was added uh, later, so I just added the audio. I mean, again uh, because the last uh, recording was not perfect with audio point of view. Looking forward to. to work with you all and help you all at the best of me thank you yours anand okay so i further decided to help you with uh, many things which i know uh, for this backlink battery so suppose like the map things we are not uh, going to discuss them here but uh, suppose like uh, web hosting website hosting web hosting you are uh, So it's provide a web hosting company, web hosting companies and companies in. Suppose I can have here New York, Los Angeles, India, Jaipur, Delhi, Mumbai. So first of all, let us understand uh, how I deal backlink factory in my way. So suppose this is a campaign we are creating, and the sole purpose is like we want to boost our existing um, YouTube URLs, existing blog posts, PBNs, any other type of uh, backlinks we created in past. which we want to boost shall be in this box that also include local citation you are so far business website or any other backlink which is our existing tier 1 backlink what is tier 1 backlink tier 1 backlink is any type of backlink which is linking to your main website called money site so all those urls whatever should be here in this url count So suppose I have this URL slash some post dot html slash some dot stm slash web dot stm slash tick tock tick tock. So suppose these are my, some of my you know uh, my website link. So these are some of the websites which are linking me to me. So I will post them here. Now what this is telling me. this telling me if we go with this kind of structure then uh, like uh, 30 links going to be created so let me just copy them two times now 60 links how this come 6 multiply with 5 max 30 so suppose you have too many backlinks so suppose in my case i have so many backlinks Once you reach the level of, I think it's thousand. So let me just show you. You will have a warning. Why warning? You should not be creating more than thousand links. That's what it's telling. In my case, I generally pick some of the links. Income make sure from it's not too much of uh, number of backlinks we creating with backlink factory. there is another hack suppose you want to make some local keywords and you have all the cities and you have all the primary keywords but you want to merge them so
so just be sure in generally i just put in all those keywords here the main ones and boom so once you click everything will have on new new york everything will have los angeles so you get so many of it so now you can see only with five this and six of this merging keywords i got 900 backlinks only for six urls that mean way lot so you cannot just imagine that you gonna have oh i have so many backlinks so i want to make it like 150 i want to push that remember 22500 that's because each link have a different combination of backlink each variation have a different combination of backlink so i will not suggest you that and parent folder name generally suppose i'm a web host so i use web hosting or i can use my primary keyword there it's all up to you child folder in my case it can be web hosting area or it can be vba server area it can be anything about this one these are all the related terms sometimes you can even use some some other words like uh, over seven hosting website design basically you can understand like anything which is semantically related i personally think it's the best place to to, to have them so how i get it i will show you just one second so <laughs> If you just type in this and you go to the images section, okay, you type this in Google. Suppose you type this here, we're posting in it, and these results kind. You went to google.com, I'm sorry <laughs> for the little extra volume. We're posting it here, and here you see a thing. Now you go to images, hosting services, services provider, hosting provider. WordPress hosting plan, servers, of course this may be a brand so I can skip that VPS hosting. These all are actually, if they are not, skip the brand names but these are actually the relevant related secondary keywords. Maybe, in my opinion, these are the best. So if you want to have some, you know, So something like that kind of thing can be in the secondary keyword. Now generally I just put custom keyword stack. I don't use that. I just use this one. Primary keyword stack, folder, link back, randomize. I always keep them. Yes. All three of them. Remember I just said you that uh, this is how I set up my thing. And this is how I set up something which is not related to a local but I still want to boost my TA1 links or existing backlinks to my website. I want to boost their link juice to my money site. Suppose you have either too many URLs or either too many keywords then what to do? Reduce the number of keywords variation and reduce the number of URL and you will see drastic things. So suppose I have so many keywords. If I just remove one backlink, you see 400 variation are gone. So in the same way, if I remove some of the keyword, you say. So basically, the developers or the ranking factory, backlink factory management, they decided this warning level with their test obviously so just be with that and don't try to make it more than thousand just be there like that and in my case suppose you have hundreds of uh, urls and you have everything ready so you can create a google sheet which is having website url ta1 links there you paste all the ta1 links then primary keywords secondary keywords something like this you can have and then every week you can boost some of them so suppose today you pick some 10 of them, boost them, next week 10 of them, then 20 of them, something like this. I generally take it like a long term approach, I don't, I'm not in rush, so slow is better. So I just go once in a week, a company like this is fair enough for the purpose. Then we go here. So basically here you can have one or two paragraphs with spin text, as per your wish. Then below that one two three para here 
very highly targeted ones related to your business in, it's in text here then you can press to enter your website uh, your business name NAP and uh, you can even have your uh, GMB URL here you can do the same thing copy it to these two as well so because it's, uh, it's been text so uniqueness will be maintained you can also mention some related and keywords in between here that's another way how you can utilize this spice so that's all for now don't overdo anything you don't have to overdo this or do this don't do this or do this or do this just try to be you know systematic have such campaign once in a week and see the differences and uh, I hope that uh, it would uh, make differences to you your business and your ranking if you have any doubt you should be uh, feel free to discussing kindly be aware of this number and this size 940 backlinks will be created if I upload the sheet so obviously and 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 we have also seen how we have most the keywords and that's all for now. I hope this helps in many of the new users, their doubts and everything and these settings and everything. I hope that it helps you. Thank you very much.